Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a space shooter game. Not the one that we saw before, but another one which is way simpler than the one that I was, uh, which I had a series of last time. So, uh, let's start with getting the sprites and the backdrops going so that we can focus on the programming. So, this is just like gonna be one video because it's very very simple so the stars stars and then we can get the space rocket or rocket ship oops rocket ship that's what it's called in scratch scratch a rocket ship you can make your own rocket but i'm using the scratch model Yeah, this is fine. Uh, these are way too big, so I'm gonna change the size of them to something smaller. Yeah, and let's have another rocket. We'll have three of them. No, yeah, three rockets and one alien. So those will be the things that we're gonna shoot. And then we have our cursor. We need to click on them to shoot. And, like... We just need to destroy the stuff, and then if we successfully do all of those, then, well, they keep spawning, but, well, that's how we make a high score and score and all that stuff. So, let's make this different from the other one by putting a green color to it. Nice. Okay, now... Uh, let's just make this smaller. Nice. So now let's make an alien. I don't think Scratch has an alien, so I'll just make one instead. Uh, this is not the best alien, but you can make one that looks better. I'm just gonna make a weird alien. Yep. Just gonna give it a few hands. Make purple color. Oops. Sorry. Wiggly arms. Yep, that's our alien. Well, this doesn't look nice at all, but you can make a better one. Because in this video, I'm only going to be showing you the art. I mean, the programming, not the art. So, yeah. So, these. So, we have our sprites now. We need one last sprite, which is going to follow our mouse pointer all the time. So that we know where we're going to shoot every time we click. Oops. Yep, uh, actually we don't need any fill, we need white outline. Oops, yeah. We need to make the thickness bigger, because it's very hard to see then. We're making it white because the background is almost black. And let me just zoom in and put these lines. Yep. Now let me just center it. Uh, don't forget to center it, otherwise it won't follow your mouse point. So when green flag is clicked, it always goes to the mouse point. Go to my mouse mouse pointer forever. So yeah, you shoot, you click. So yeah. These rockets are now going to be moving, all of them, so that it makes the game interesting. Otherwise, these will just be there and we need to click them. That will be way too easy. We need to make something a bit more productive. So, let's make these move around. Make. I'll just keep these to point. Yeah, now they're okay. So when I, they always move 10 steps and if on edge they bounce. Yep. 
Yep. They do that, but they're always going to go in that direction. So let's just change the angle a little bit. We change it to pointing in direction 45. Yep, and now they move all around the place, but we don't want it to go in one single speed, so let's keep it in a range of 1 to 30 steps, so it always goes around very fast and you need to click them. That might be a bit difficult, so let's uh, decrease the speed to 5 to 20. Yeah, now it's okay. So let's put in the same code for all the three things. Have it here, or have it here. So now these all float around, and yeah. Now comes the thing where when we click them, they should disappear and go in another place. So if touching mouse point. Actually, no, if this sprite is clicked. So, in it'll be in when the sprite clicked, it's gonna explode and go to a, another place. Oh, let's just make an explosion sprite. Just how we did in the other thing. Oh, you want a red explosion? Yeah, I guess it works fine. We're not trying to make a good looking explosion now. I guess this can be the explosion. It's really big right now, so let's decrease the size. Yeah, that's fine. So now, when this sprite is clicked, so let's create a variable called score first. Score. And also high score for later. Cloud variable. Because it's going to show up in all people's all game. So now when this sprite is clicked, it's going to explode. So let's change. Score by one and switch costume to costume one, which is the explosion. And when it is clicked, it will always stay in rocket ship A. And when we click it, Let's go to full screen now. Yep. It exploded, but it doesn't stop. So we need to... Well, stop it. So... We stop other sprites where... Where is it? Stop... Other scripts in this sprite. And then, oh, it does it again, so broadcast. Mm -hmm. Respawn. Or when it receives respawn, it shows up in a random place. The go to random position. And it does the same thing. Let's see, rocket ship A, pretty hard though, we can increase the size of it, yeah, we'll do that, we'll make the speed slower, otherwise that will be better, 3, 10, I guess that will be better, because the size should be small, otherwise it will be too easy, let's make it 3 to 10, 
otherwise it's too fast. Yeah, we put it in this cone, so when the sprite picked, yeah, so we need to make this go in front all the time, wait, otherwise the thing comes in the way, go in front, go to front layer, yep, it's gonna happen, here as well. Oh wait. Yep. Cool, it works. So you just need to put the same thing in all of them. Let's put this here, this here, and this here, this here. Yep. We have it in all of them. We need to put the costume one. Mm. Guess we can put it here. Yeah, we have a thing called costume one here. This is called, yeah. So this should be called costume other one, otherwise it won't work. And we also need to transport this to here. Oops, it didn't work. Mm, costume one. Oops, we need to change the rocket ship A to costume two. This to costume two. Oh, rocket ship. Oh. This thing has a problem because this costume one costume this is costume two. So we need to change this to make it costume two. And here it's costume one. Oops. The things don't change because we didn't set it in the start. So let's just switch costume to costume one in the start. And here. It should be rocket trip A in the start. When we click, wait. Yep. When we click it, it explodes and respawns. So that's our thing. Now let's just um, wrap up this video with the high score. So, forever if the score is higher than the high score, score is greater than the high score, then we set the high score to the score. So here it's, yeah. Whenever somebody beats the high score, it's gonna, well, make it the new high score. So that's how this game's gonna work. It's very simple. We finished in one video. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe and like to this video.